can here we go because running backs is going to be crazy here. Uh, let's get no, right no, into running backs pretty- right away. I think the first one overall. There's two guys I'm thinking first overall. There's only two. There's Bell or or Johnson. Yeah. Uh, when I looked at contract situation right now and a couple other of those factors, I went David Johnson first yep. overall. Yeah, David yep. Johnson first overall for well, me as well. Same yeah. here. Okay. Yep. So if we got him at first, are we uh, same around the I've table? I've got Bell, Bell at number two. Yeah. All right, yep. there we go. We got easy. Bell. All right, number three. Who do we got at three? I have Zeke Elliott. Me too. Same here. Three. All right. All right. I, I knew... I, the first four should be the same, and then from there, I, I think that four. we're going to be all over. Oh. Four, I got McCoy. Same here. I, Shady McCoy. I put McCoy here. Nice. Wow. I love it. I love it. Nice. Wow. Nick, it. how are we doing so far? Great. Pretty good? We're yes. rolling here. We're this rolling. is where it gets crazy now. Yes. This is where it gets I crazy. I don't know. I think we're going to be okay. All this, right. This is where I don't know anyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go at number five, and uh, Jamie's Jamie's top four. We're we're on the same page as him. Number five, I've got somebody different. I took Demarco Murray at number five. Demarco Murray, mm-hmm. yeah. I have Devonta Freeman. Nice at number five. Yeah. Um, I think that the the change in the Atlanta offense a little bit is going to be even more run heavy. Um, what do you think about the two running back situation? That's why I didn't put Freeman that high. I, I mean, it is what it is. In the end, one guy's going to be more productive. And, and now the, the moment you get past the top four, there's no bell cows anymore. Mm-hmm. And, and Devonta Freeman had big numbers. And, and mm-hmm. I, I've just got to go. With, I feel better about that than any of the rest. And I don't okay. feel good about the whole list. Chris? I, I like Freeman. And I, I think he made a good point. But Coleman, I think, is going to be possibly – I think he's a good he's a good running back. And I think he, he could be uh, – yeah, Coleman. Uh, oh, the other guy. You yeah, mean. the other guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That, that they're going to split snaps with. Uh, but I went with Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon. Oh, yeah, okay. Gordon. I like Melvin Gordon a lot. Well, ironically, that's who Jamie has. Okay. Melvin Gordon. I, well, think, I think he's a beast. If I had to... So if I'm going to get overruled on Freeman, I have Ray's guy, DeMarco Murray, ranked ninth, and I have Melvin Gordon ranked 10th. Mm. So I'll have to go DeMarco Murray uh, if I'm getting overruled here, which sounds like I am on Devonta Freeman. Um I, I have DeMarco Murray a bit higher than Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon's had sh- a shaky start to his career. He yeah. really came on, but I'd like to see a little, like you were talking consistency. Yeah. I'd like to see a little bit more before I would uh, have enough faith in this guy to draft him like as a top 10 I, I agree. running back. It's just how he finished the season, though. Yeah, it, yeah. It wasn't yeah, yeah. Like, the way wasn't he finished, up and, de- but, but wasn't it's, up and it's, down. It's not a full season yet. Yeah. That's that's why I don't have him in this spot. That DeMarco Murray is is a pretty... You 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 know what you're going to get out of Murray, right? Here's my main thing with it though is that that with all the injuries that uh, that was in San Diego, I think with if they do come in and they can stay healthy, especially the receivers, they're able to stack the box a lot on this kid, and he figured out a way to get through it. And I think if they have these targets, and plus the other big uh, target from the backfield, uh, he's gone to another team. Uh, Oh geez, uh, he he came from New England. Uh, Blunt? No, nope. no, the the, the, oh. the little uh, uh, Woodhead. Yeah, Woodhead. Woodhead. Yeah. Woodhead did great. Did great in uh, San Diego. No, yeah. he's gone. Mainly catching yeah, passes, though. Well, but, yeah, but yeah. That, but he does the same. Gordon catches too. I think yeah, yeah. he's going to be more of a utility. I think he's going to be the beast with Rivers throwing to him. All right. Well, tell I, me. I, I like what you're saying. I really do. For me, I want safety. Like I, I want, I want to have a safe pick, and my safe pick is Demarco Murray. Now, just so you know, in this list, he's a ninth, but that's just yeah. based on the stats I've seen over the if years. It, Nick, I'm going back to oh, you for oh, a ruling, on, real quick. Oh, hold on, hold on, before you do that, Demarco Murray though is going to be splitting with uh, Henry, uh, and I think he is. He bit. is going to be. A, no, I, didn't, I think he's he's the next Mur- one. D- I, Murray's still getting eighty percent of the carries there. Uh, he's getting eighty percent of the. But you bring there. up you bring yeah. up that he's getting up there in age. And he is getting up there in age. He's got he's got some miles on him. Yeah, I think there's going to be more splits than what you think. Well, look, you don't have to go to Nick. I'm we're going to overrule Chris here and go to Marco Murray because okay, he's just a little bit higher. I That's like all. I mean, I it's I'm the not f- sure. he was great. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go. Pick number six, Chris. We're going to start with you. Well, then I'll, I'll still well. I had uh, um, uh, Jordan Howard. Okay. Chicago, yeah, but I think Melvin Gordon is is still going to be so. The guy. Melvin Gordon's your next next best rated guy, uh, Ray. He's not mine, but what do you got? 
Right now, I've got Lamar Miller there. Lamar Miller, okay. Dylan. And I've still From got... Houston. I mean, oh. Houston could have an unbelievable... Th- but you've already heard my spiel on yep. Houston this yep. year. Yeah. I've got still Devonta Freeman sitting here. And Devonta Freeman, I'm I'm a hundred percent comfortable going to front uh, uh, Freeman here. And my actual number six pick, which I'll get into in a bit, is a bit of my homer pick, but Isaiah Crowell, oh, yeah, who's yeah, probably yeah. not on your list, but we'll be yeah. talking about that in a sec. Yeah. So I guess I'll argue for Devonta Freeman. I'm comfortable with Melvin Gordon going yeah. here if you want. I you, so maybe you can decide here. Uh, I, but, I I I'm I'm. <sighs> You know what? I, I, I'm with Chris in the fa- Hold on. Yeah. I already know what Gordon did at the end of the year. I, I did pick him up last year. I love the stats that this kid put on. He's an exciting football player. Mm-hmm. He is an exciting football player. I just want to know as a fantasy owner, he's going to play all 14 regular season games for me and be there for the finals. I don't know that about him. I'm, I'm almost saying we can settle. But I, two I picks know. Right now. I think I, could, I would settle with Freeman for safety that you're saying first, okay. go to the veteran, and then Gordon next. Freeman, then Gordon? Okay. Let's do it. Well, boom. Done. All right. Nick? Yep. <laughs> sure. Okay. I'd love all right. Buffalo so well, I'm going to make a quick argument here for Isaiah Crowell as my next highest rated running back. Now, normally I don't draft Browns for any fantasy. I, I don't trust them whatsoever. Isaiah Crowell is in a, in a contract year. Hugh Jackson is, uh, is admitting his mistakes last year and not committing to the run. Crowell had 952 yards rushing last year. That was only 15th in the league. But he averaged 4.8 yards per carry. He only had 198 rushing attempts, which was 20th in the league. So the Browns, the Browns ranked 19th in the league in rushing yards, and they were 32nd in the league in rushing attempts with only 350. Yet they averaged 4.9 yards per carry, which was number two in the league, second to only the Bills. Yeah. So I figured you guys would like that. Pretty good. This guy, they're going to commit to the run a lot more this this season. They've he's come out and flat out and said it and I think the guy can can definitely uh, can definitely carry the offense. They upgraded their offensive line huge and your offensive line is a bigger part of your running game to me than the running back. Yeah. Um, so the huge upgraded offensive line, they're ranked 4 on uh, PFF. So I'm Crowell, it's a homer pick. But I'm really thinking that he can come out and be one of the top five most. I just I'm going to give you an A and effort for coming up with your theory there. <laughs> yeah, but I still have to go with Miami's running back here. Lamar, this guy yeah, is this not guy even is on my radar. Power. Yeah, not I even mean, on my pure radar. Power out of the backfield. I, my, my only thing with what you're saying, I, I I like everything you're saying, but how soon? Like, what do you think of the rest of the offense? Because how soon do they abandon the run? Good point. And they abandoned it last year, and this year I feel like they won't. I feel like the, the much improved defense with all the pieces they've added and the new coordinator might be able to keep the offense on the field a little bit more. Um, and I just think there's lessons learned. Anyways, I knew I was going to get no, overruled in this. No, no, but, but I'm, I'm not trying to beat you up on it either. I'm not trying to like – but in a game, like how well they're going to do this year – if they're getting if they're getting rung up, yeah. how soon are they going to say, "All right, we do have a good running game"? And you're, I do think I think he's a great. You're, running you're back. making a good point, and I think my answer to that is I don't think they're going to get run up. All right, I, I'll, okay. I'll let your guy go in at tenth. If we can go back and change luck to Tyrod, I don't Taylor. think he makes a top ten. I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> not a chance. I I, if, if, <laughs> not a chance. So, anyways, where, I think he's good running where, back. Where I do really you do. where do you I, have Lamar Miller? I have Lamar Miller on my eleventh. Oh, yeah. That's 11th, right. I, yeah. I did have I, Lamar Miller ahead of uh, Miami's running back, but I, oh, I, sorry, I thought you the, yeah, Miami. My, my my next guy, I forgot about Miller. I did have Miller slotted uh, higher than uh, Miami's running. So back. who's your next guy, Ray? I'm going Lamar. I, I'm going Miller from Houston. Lamar Miller from Houston, and yeah. who's your next guy? My next one is uh, Jordan Howard. Okay, so I'm siding with Chris because he's the uh, of your of the two you guys mentioned. He's the only guy in my top ten. I have Jordan Howard ranked at number seven, right after Crowell. Yeah, I think he's awesome. Well, I hate to tell you this, but for my <laughs> for my bust, I have any Chicago running back. Fair enough. <laughs> Why? I, they're going to be running. They don't have anyone to pass, potentially. They're going to have to run exactly. all the time. Exactly. So they're going to have eight guys in the box That's to run against every running time. Attempts. But they more. did last year. Yeah. I, I, I'm they, not taking, I know. They did, I, they did last guys, year. If you guys overrule me and take Howard here, that's up to you. But I'm telling you. It's official. I, I overrule. Think, I think... <laughs> I think it's a complete it's waste official. of time. It's official. And in fact, I'd talking? call it complete horse 
<laughs> I'll, I'll get my beep in there. Yeah, wow. Well, you know, <laughs> right. this coming from the guy that had Tyrod Taylor in his top 10 list. Uh, all right. So is that what we're going? Jordan, Jordan Howard. We're going Jordan Howard? <laughs> Jordan yep. Howard. Boy, Boy, Jordan Howard. We just lost all credibility of a podcast. What? Uh, I, think we, I think we lost it at the 10-minute mark <laughs> yeah. with the quarterbacks, to be honest with you. So let's all right. hang it up. Come on, let's go. We got I, two I, more to go. I like the Ajayi. You, yeah. you mentioned him I, next. I, yeah. I really do like Other than Crowell, next. Jay Ajayi is my next uh, guy. He's hurt. I think he went out with a concussion. Is the only my only asterisk yeah. to keep an eye on him. He could have a little. Yeah. Who do you got next, Ray? I've Ray? got uh, Leonard Fournette coming in next. Uh, for me. I love Fournette. I love him. He's my bust. Do you? Yeah. He's my tenth. I I had I had uh, I had Fournette and I had Marshawn Lynch coming after him. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we don't really have a lot of things left that we agree on. Like I've got. The rest of my list is basically DeMarco Murray, whom we've already slotted, Melvin Gordon, whom we've already slotted, Jay Ajayi is the only guy left, yeah. uh, mm. and, and Isaiah Crowell. I've got nothing else to, to yeah. offer here. So I, I say in your list, a, a, a Ajayi, right? Yeah. I think Ajayi is... is we there. already got him. Oh, I don't see him on... No, we haven't. Yeah, we, oh. we, we've got no, we him don't picked have at him. nine. Yeah, we got him Oh, so we're nine. making him on nine? On our list. Yeah, oh, okay. I put him down right. as nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, the executive decision. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nick, do you even quick. get to? You, well, you, we all we all said his name, so right. I wrote it down. So the number ten. So number ten. I've got Fernet at number ten. Fernet, me too. All right, you guys Eisenberg can have him. Has him. Yeah, you guys can. I have think him. he's a, a nasty, mean runner. He's looking. There's a lot of good reports come out in camp. Okay. What are you going to go with Bortles? No, he's going to lead. It. He's going to lead it. Set the, uh, the so, momentum. So, do we want to talk sleepers first or bust? No, let's go sleepers. Andy, give me your sleeper. My sleepers, Carlos Hyde. Wow! Beautiful. Everywhere he he's he's the starting quarterback there. He's the number one guy in camp right now, and everywhere Kyle Shanahan goes and installs his offense to begin, he creates a superstar running game. Uh, and I think Carlos Hyde's going to do way better than anybody thinks. I think he'll be a semi bell cow in the beginning. Wow, that's might great. not last, but Chris, who's yeah. your sleeper? Well, you stole mine. <laughs> I, I really like that one, but I'll go with my second runner up is uh, Ty Montgomery. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry, oh. I, I was late on that one. <laughs> hmm. I had Ty Montgomery. Uh-huh. <laughs> Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> All wow. right. Now, why would you pick Ty Montgomery? Just out of curiosity. Well, I, I, I think he's one of the more elusive backs that uh, like we, we, we talked about, I think, a few shows ago. I think they looked at how how much uh, how how many people missed tackles on this guy. But but when we talked about Green Bay that night, yeah, I was getting kickback from you guys over the fact that you're, that you're Green remembering. Bay has no running game. No, you're mis- you're not remembering. That my you comments need to on have it. running game. I told you that he had running game with him. I don't know. I agreed with you. I don't have Ty Montgomery as my sleeper. Uh, okay, That's for well, damn sure. We're gonna we're awesome. gonna have to jump over to bus and give me a couple seconds here to uh, come up with a new. Uh, <laughs> I, I I did not expect that to he come up. He's got a backup. All. No, That's all right. right. He's so so playing. Leonard Fournette's my bust because Blake Bortles is throwing five Who, interceptions Fournette? per day per day in camp right now that so he's he's completely falling apart uh doug marone came out the media said hey in an ideal game how many times would blake bortles throw the ball and doug marone with a straight face looked at them and said zero okay okay so there's gonna be eight guys in the box and they don't have a good offensive line to begin with they have no passing game to open up the field and fournette is in that's the difference between fournette and elliott Elliot happened because there was solid, uh, amazing offensive line and solid quarterback play. Th- th- there's neither of those in Jacksonville. Okay. I, I, I've I, already told you my bust. Any Chicago running back. Go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with, uh, it's not really a big surprise. Some people had them rated uh, pretty high as Todd Gurley. Yeah, that's, that's that was, he was my runner-up bust too he's on my no touch list in in fantasy he just does not impress yeah, me he, at all. i almost traded for him with you last year and it, it was it was amazing it didn't happen <laughs> well i hate to say this yeah but i have to tell you update you who my sleeper pick is since chris took time montgomery i have to go with mike gillisley oh, for the God. new england patriots they rotate the, the backs i I, I know but you know what i've been saying to a God. lot of people that Gillisley always had the pleasure of running behind uh, McCoy. Yeah. This kid could put up numbers in the way. I like well, a lot, he could. But... And being a sleeper doesn't mean you're a top 10 guy. It just means you're going to way outperform where you're drafted, if yeah. at all, which he may not be. Yeah. So That actually went smoother than I thought, boys. We yep. got through the top 10 
uh, running backs and yeah. QBs. We got some sleepers. We got some busts. Next week, we're going to get into wide receivers and yep. tight ends. We're not going to do kickers or defenses because no. everybody just drafts week by week on those. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of leagues don't even have kickers anymore. So yeah. uh, next week, wide receivers, tight ends. We will be posting these on our social media pages. So when it comes time for your draft and you need fantasy help, who do you call? Right. First down sports. The, the, the three oh. guys that just created two lists that none of them agree with whatsoever <laughs> from top to bottom. Hey, yeah, I, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you guys did this, but I went a, a little further with it. Of the do not forget list, you know, I had a, a couple guys we've already talked about. So Dalvin Cook from uh, uh, um, Minnesota. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Adrian Peterson, don't forget him. Yeah. Marcel Lynch and Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. On uh, the quarterbacks, Rivers, Big Ben, Matt Stafford, Mariota, a- obviously. Andy, we, we Carson were. Carson Palmer and, and Taylor. We we were running on time there, right? And yeah. Joe hey, some people tangent. don't know, right. don't follow a lot of this stuff. And no matter how many times you say it, Taylor's not on my list. I won't be talking about him. Yeah. In this <laughs> That's our fantasy football don't wrap forget. up, guys. QBs and running backs. Uh, we will, like I said, we'll be posting that up. Uh, we can't wait for our fantasy drafts to get started, and I'm sure you can't either. Before we get out of here, we're going to get into just a couple odds and ends. I just got a yep. couple things I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, so let's start with uh, some CFL news. Okay, we talk CFL every week. This week, we're not talking about the Red Blacks because they had the week off. Well, can we talk about refs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're going to talk about the Hamilton Ticats mm. because the Hamilton Ticats Suck. had a, a, a game like th- this past week that kind of, you know, reminds me of my brother Chris. They lost 60 oh, to 1. because I said the ref thing. 60 to 1. <laughs> lost 60 Six, to 1. Hey, hey if, if, if they're like your brother Chris, did they fist pump on yeah. that rouge? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, they lost 60 to 1. Now, here's the interesting thing after they lose 60 to 1, they're still in Calgary because they're playing Edmonton on Friday night. And during their practice in regular season, keep in mind, yeah. this team had a fight reported, which later was upgraded to a brawl oh. between the offense and defense. So right off the bat, this can't be a good thing, right? And I, I'm not talking about a, a, a fight in training camp like the, uh, I'm sure you saw it, the super lightweight uh, battle between Edelman and Gilmore. Mm. This was a team brawl. Yep. Uh, they're 0-5 to start the season. Would you say head coach uh, Ken Austin is now uh, questionable whether he keeps his job? He's all right. Well, I mean, he was questionable you know, already they're horrible. Like they can't, I mean, you know, they can't win a game and there's no, there's no, uh, win in sight from what I can tell. But let me tell you, this is okay. I like this. Um, CFL is hurting for ratings. Let's, Let's get a little let's get a little tussle and practice going on. Let's get this get stuff some, get on. Some let's get some footage of this stuff. <laughs> let's see some guys arguing on the sidelines a little bit. Let's come on. Yeah. I like this. That's yeah. awesome. A little That's nastiness. Awesome. Yeah. We're too polite. Here's some breaking <laughs> yeah. news about the tie cats. I, I didn't give you guys a heads up on this. Breaking news. <laughs> okay. At four thirty this afternoon. Fired. The tie cats hired June Jones as the assistant head coach. Okay. Let me tell you who June Jones is. Please do. <laughs> yeah. 30, 34 Ooh. years experience Breaking with news. the uh, NCAA. He was a head coach for years, NFL and CFL. Yeah. He was the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons from 94 to 96. Yeah. So he does bring head coach experience with him. Is this warning bells now that Austin could be? It, let's say let's say Ty Cats go in and get blown out by Edmonton this week. Yeah. Does Austin still ha- does Austin have a job on Saturday morning? No. Gone. No. Yeah. I don't. Owen, I, and Owen I, six and they get blown out. He's gone. Yeah. And, what, I, and I don't even think this fight adds to that. But this hire right away, double J well, there show, with, all, it, with that yeah. amazing. It, it, uh, it, it yeah. shows. It shows that he's got no control over the team. If you're having a. Oh, ball, I agree. You can have a skirmish. Yeah. But a brawl is a completely different... I, I agree. I just think, like, even if that brawl didn't happen, if you look at this hire and where they are as a franchise right now, yeah. and, I mean, we, we looked at an interview of him before we started taping there, and he's, like, laughing and giving himself, listen, this guy's This guy's, this guy's gone. Yeah. Okay. Let's go into the next subject. I love this, talking about this subject. Ice Cube's Robert. three oh, on three. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whew. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Ice Cube's three-on-three three league is really in trouble now. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you heard about this. I haven't. Tell me this. 
your good buddy Alan Iverson, who we seem to be talking about every time we talk about <laughs> when uh, we talk about this league. Yeah, that makes news. But now uh, Philadelphia had a game in Detroit, yeah. and the head coach Alan Iverson was a no-show. Yeah, didn't even show up for the game. Was yeah. it practice? Yeah, <laughs> no, this was a game. Oh, oh, this was okay. a game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this was a game. Practice. So Ice Cube has had to make the decision to suspend Allen Iverson <laughs> for one game for okay. not showing up because okay. of the impact that it has on the league. Is he getting paid for this? And now Iverson. Got him. Okay, we've talked about this for the last what three weeks. This is the second apology that Iverson has had to issue, right. this time to Ice Cube, to the Big Three family, and all the fans of the league. So this is two apologies in the yeah. last two weeks from Allen Iverson. Is this league even going to be around any longer? Like, how much longer is this league going to... Uh... Ray, Ray, you are the only person I know that talks about this. <laughs> and I'm, I'm the football... Know, or I'm but, the basketball but fan but here. But it's Allen Iverson. I, 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 yeah. I, I can't... Yeah. Every time I see a highlight about this league, I can't I, believe it's even functioning. I, I read a story today that, uh, that came out recently that Iverson was spotted at a casino three hours before the game that he no-showed as a coach. <laughs> so... Listen, this is a joke. Yeah. It's, they need to replace him. I, I mean, I don't know. Like, it, it, he's clearly not making a whole lot of money here, and I'm sure this fine isn't going to hurt. I, I, I feel this league's kind of like like the Dancing with the Star. It's a gimmick. I mean, I You're dig Ray like liking two, basketball. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying, right? <laughs> yeah. Next. Uh, next. All right, last one, and then we're out of here. Yeah. Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. So there's lots of action going on in Baltimore this week. They signed a QB from the Arena Football League yeah. instead of Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, two and, of them or and, something. And, yeah. and Ray Rice, or yeah, sorry, Ray Rice, Ray Lewis mm. is appearing on every talk show there is, justifying why they've hi- that why they've uh, signed these guys and not Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. What do you think about? This whole story. Well, I think Ray Lewis is an idiot. I, <laughs> I can't stand Ray Lewis. I can't stand the Baltimore franchise at all because they're just the Browns. Right. Right. Um, but the successful ones. Um, but um, I listen to a lot of insider stuff with uh, the AFC North, obviously. And, and what I'm hearing from all the big dogs is um, the entire coaching staff and front office uh, general manager, they all want Colin Kaepernick and it's the owner saying no. And the owner saying and no. they're, they're doing all these this ridiculous stuff, even polling fans uh, to try to convince the owner that it's a, that it's it, a they move. should do it. Yeah. Um, and that's where they're at and it's pretty bad. And now the owner has Ray Lewis talking about Well, this, this is like John Harpa is such a strong figure for that team. Yeah. I love John Harpa. And his yeah. brother's the guy who made Colin Kaepernick. Exactly. I mean, exactly. Yeah. Like yeah. this could be a perfect fit. And you know Flacco's going to miss the first couple weeks of the regular season. Yeah. The main, the main thing I, I, I heard, I forget what show it was. I, I think it could even be like CNN, that there was a drop in, in, um, in an audience like I think twenty three percent, and they they actually said it was attributed to what happened of players starting to sit down for the national anthem. You're exactly right. It, it was twenty six percent. Twenty six. Twenty six percent is the reason why the NFL. They're saying that ratings dropped by twenty six percent last year, and they're attributing it to players taking a knee during the anthem. Yeah, I have so many opinions on this that would just get me in trouble. So All right. I just well, say let's, get let's over get it. Get out of it. Yeah. I, I, but, but before listen, we but wait, before we go to it, if if if. Flacco, because right now Flacco's got, I think he's got like a bat, like some type of back, back injury. Thing. Yeah. Just watch that franchise blow up if they got to bring in <laughs> like a, that quarterback from the Arena League. I, I, when they could have had, um, they, I, they I, just, had a I want to ask you this. How smart does Jeremy Macklin look now signing with Baltimore over Buffalo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. All right. Before we get out of here, Nick, any final thoughts before we get out of here? Not at all. Not at all. Chris, any final thoughts? I do. Uh, I watched a, a series on uh, Netflix, uh, Last Chance U. you. Yeah, uh, Last Chance I've watched. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It is amazing. Do the know, first season. Do you know who went to Last U? Big yeah, player? J- your Chad Kelly. Chad Kelly was at Last <laughs> no, not, U. No, no, the year, year yeah, before that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chad if you haven't Kelly checked it out, it, the first season is, is good. Second one's kind of the steam's kind of coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. First season though was great. It was great. Yeah. yeah. Andy, any last thoughts? I got nothing, man. Let's just let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay. Dope. So again, I want to uh, <laughs> thank our sponsors. You know the drill. Monday, Tuesday, whatever night it is, go get yourself a moose head. The stuff's scary good. 
If you're a sports team, organization, company, shirts, hats, pens, calculators, whatever the case may be, go see our buddies the Doyles, Doyles Corporate Image. Double D. Doyles are all. Doyle yeah. rules. Yeah. And if your kitchen sucks and you know it does, make sure you go out and get yourself some done right buffalo sauce. This stuff is going to clean it up pretty good. Fix it. Fix our kitchen. So my last thought before we get out of here, guys, is I want to send a special thanks again to Jason Terrace for coming on and talk to us. Awesome guy. And uh, I want to send out congrats to the rest of the Moncton Mustang squads and all the alumni. 